Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So why do I use the iPhone? So there are six reasons why I use the iPhone uh, daily as my daily driver for a smartphone. So the first reason is simplicity. So just how beautiful and simple the iPhone looks, it's just one of the reasons I just love using the iPhone. Just out of the box, you pretty much know what to do already, even if you don't know what to do while you're using the iPhone. It's just that simple to use, and that's why I just love using the iPhone. Next is hardware. So when you're feeling the iPhone for the very first time, it feels very rich. It feels very premium, the iPhone XS. And that's what I just love about it. Now, I think it's some type of Apple magic that Apple does, of course, uh, that makes you feel like this. It's probably the price tag as well. Um, but it's just something really, really like that you have to experience, of course, owning an iPhone. And it's just something I really enjoy looking at, of course, the hardware of the iPhone. Every time I take it out of my case, I just love looking at it. Um, and so yeah, it's just a fantastic product to look at as well. Third is the screen. So ever since Apple now uses OLED on the iPhone XS, it, the screen is just really, really amazing. And I just love staring at it so much. I sometimes even look at it really close to my eyes. I get it nice and near. I just love looking at the edges, how the screen like, and the edges like, almost come together nice and smooth and it's just really really beautiful to look at as well next we have of course the camera so the camera is a simple camera of course a powerful camera on the iphone 10 is probably the best camera on any iPhone right now uh, and it's the camera I carry around me every single day. So whenever I'm out and about and I see something interesting and I want to take a picture, I always take out my 10s and just take a picture of it and I just love it because it is amazing, it's really fast and it just takes great photos. Next we have of course iOS. So iOS 12 was not a big redesign update that many of us have been wanting, especially me, I've been wanting a nice redesign change since iOS 7. iOS has not really changed any bit. So, but iOS 12 has been an important update in the iOS ecosystem. It has made using uh, the iPhone or iPad uh, much more stable. Um, I have not found any bugs or anything like that that have ruined it. More battery life, of course, has improved. And just the iOS ecosystem has greatly improved thanks to iOS 12 because it was more of an improvement this update. But I'm hoping that maybe this year at WWDC, uh, Apple will show off iOS 13 and with iOS 13 will come a big redesign change because it really needs a big redesign change. It's something we've come to know already and love of course, but it's getting a little outdated in my opinion. So I hopefully iOS 13 will be a nice uh, redesign update. And next and not least is the App Store. So the App Store just gets me back every time I go, every time I leave the iPhone for a little while, it just brings me back to the iPhone. So me, my first smartphone, first first ever smartphone was the Galaxy Note 2. And of course, uh, there were some great apps but I was always jealous at the iPhone's app store because developers were only creating for the iOS ecosystem and not really for Android. I wanted some of the uh, iOS apps on Android, but of course developers were only creating for iPhone because that's where they wanted to make it, of course, but also because they knew people will download it there and maybe also pay that premium price for some good quality apps and not on Android. So that's why every time I leave for a little while the iPhone, I always go back to the iPhone just because of the App Store. Uh, all those premium apps that you can only sometimes find on iOS and you can't find on Android is probably the main, main reason why I always stick with the iPhone is because of the App Store and all the great, fantastic third-party apps that make the iPhone so great. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. The reasons why I use the iPhone as my primary daily choice of a smartphone. Now, of course, the iPhone is not perfect. Uh, it is missing some awesome features that, I can only find, that 
like that are on flagship Android smartphones out there, uh, like the reverse wireless charging, um, some cool, awesome technology that only Android smartphones right now are trying out and not on the iPhone. Now, of course, we know that Apple, of course, always likes to wait, see the market first, and then get it right the first time before trying anything new on the iPhone, which has been really good. Like Apple Pay uh, has been a success for them. So yeah, so that's like, now of course, also another big thing that uh, Apple needs to fix is the price on the iPhone XS. Now the iPhone XS costed me $1,500 uh, on the day I pre-ordered it on day one. And it took a big chunk of my wallet. So that's one of the biggest things that Apple needs to greatly improve when pricing the iPhone is the price because it's just crazy how expensive the iPhone costs now, which you could get like a flagship Android smartphone, a good one for a cheaper price and it's sometimes even more powerful and much more better than the iPhone XS. So it's something that Apple really, really needs to fix is the price on the iPhone's lineup. So that's pretty much it guys. And as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.